No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. And we're back. And today we have several vehicles that we're going to be looking at today. We finally made a bunch of new purchases. So without further ado, let's get moving. All right, we're gonna start with these ones up here. The Tesla Roadster, okay. Very generic looking sports car. I know these are electric, so there's that. Alrighty. I don't know if I have this one. I have an orange Tesla, but it's the older model. Very nice car indeed. Very nice. Alright, cool. I did find another Viper because I had to get a second one. Let's see, is this one any better than the first one I got? I'll have to compare. Um, I mean, they're both more or less on point. Neither one is really better than the other. Uh, I mean, the headlights on this one are a little more off, so... Yeah, Alright, this, this, will, this will be the, the disposable one. I also got another one of these Corvettes because I love the pop-up headlights. That's just too cool. I'm still waiting for them to make a black one so we can have the one from uh, the movie Rush Hour. I don't know, maybe I'll customize this one. Repaint it black. Look like Chris Tucker's uh, Corvette that he had in that movie. God, that is such a nice Corvette. Very nice. Alright, next car. This very chibi looking, very kind of stumpy looking Porsche. I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of the car from Juan Gone Midnight. Just minus the gold wheels, but uh, don't mind if I do. That's nice. I don't know why. I really like that one. I notice they all have an open passenger window, which is interesting. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, on to the next car. A Plymouth GTX 71. One of my personal favorite eras of uh, this particular car, just because I like the front grille. I really like the look of it. Alrighty. Very nice. Very nice. I hope my lighting is doing a lot better, because I noticed... Uh, Whenever I hold the cars in front of the camera, it's not as uh, as good as it normally should be. But uh, anyway, there's that. This next car, I don't think I have, or at least if I do, it's in a different paint job. Uh, the Alfa Romeo G GT V6 3.0. Just rolls right off the tongue now, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, or at least if I do, it's in a different color. But uh, yeah, that's nice. I like the new wheels. These new wheels are nice. Last but not least, another um, Cadillac Seville 1982 in a nice blue color. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Very nice. Very pretty looking car. I really like the back end of this thing. I don't know why. I just I love the weird shape of it. Oh, and the taillights are painted. Nice. Very nice. Alright, put all the Hot Wheels over here. Alright, now we got a bunch of Auto World and Johnny Lightnings that we need to look at, so uh, let's get those in the frame. Um, because it'll be difficult. I'll put these in the back. We'll start with the JDM car. Alright, first car is a 1990 Nissan 240 SX Custom. Very interesting paint job. Looks like something out of Pit My Ride. But uh, I like the 240 SX, so I had to grab that one. Alright, just a little trading card thing. Mm, interesting. Alrighty, grab our car. Grab this little card thing. Well, it'll be nice to add to the collection. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look at what we got here. I mean, it's a good casting. Oh, it's actually got uh, uh, rubber tires and everything. Okay. The wheels are a little too big for my liking, but I mean, the actual car itself, I mean, it's a good mold. I just wish the paint shop was better. But, uh, you know, I like it. It does what it needs to. Alright, another one that I had to grab was this uh, really lovely uh, Plymouth Voyager 1985. Okay, so this is a different minivan. It's not the Dodge Caravan I thought it was. Okay, this is from Auto World. 
Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Oh, that is nice. I don't know what it is about these like old school like minivan commuter vans that I really like so much. They're just good background vehicles for like um, like city dioramas and displays. That's a nice one. I like it though. I like the chrome roof rack as well. That's also a nice touch. All right, next, this one's been kind of uh, escaping me. The Dodge Super B or Coronet Super B. But yeah, I really like this particular. I like the front end on this model. This is a 1970. Yep. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh there we go. Jesus. Very nice. Good old fashioned Super B. That is a pretty car. Does the hood open on this one? I have a yellow one, but it's like a gasser variant. Uh, if it does, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that open. Well, if it does open, I can't get it to open. But uh, this is a very nice little casting. Rubber tires, metal bottom. Yeah, this is a nice car. I like it. Probably would have chose a better color, maybe like a nice bright yellow, but this is all they had there, so I'll live with it. It's a nice mold, though. I really like that one. All right, next we got... Uh, Another one that's been escaping me, this old uh, 1980 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. I really wanted this one, but I kept, I just, I don't know. I just never could pull the trigger on it, but I said screw it and finally grabbed one. They had another one in blue with a tin, but it had the wrong wheels on it, so I didn't buy it. Plus, this one was cheaper anyway. There we go. Very nice blue paint job. I love the blue bird. I love everything about this. Is that hood open? It does. I did get it to open this time. Okay. Uh, you can't really see what's in there. I mean, you kind of can see the motor. But, uh, I mean, that, that, that right there is just a beautiful image. I don't know. Uh, nice tail lights. Spoilers molded in good. At least it's uh, glued on correctly. Yeah, that's a nice one. But yeah, the other one that they had was the one with the tin. And for some reason, I guess they were trying to replicate the look of the Turbo Trans Am. Because it had 80s Pontiac hubcap wheels on it. But they were all like chrome, and it didn't look right. So I grabbed this one instead with the traditional kind of, you know, five-spoke muscle car wheels. So I'll go ahead and put you there. We got two vehicles left. Um, let's see. Let's start with this big boy, this nice uh, 1976 Chevy G20 van. Now, my dad, he loves his vans, and uh, so does my brother. So, you know, we're a family that grew up with cargo vehicles most of our lives. So, you know, we're very partial to these. Oh, I remember when I was in the store buying this, or about to buy it, I remember the guy next to me didn't want to buy it because apparently the base was messed up somewhere. Oh, yep, I can see it. Eh. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was riveted on correctly, but, I mean, from a top view, you don't really notice it too much. That's a nice one. That's a nice, big, heavy casting. That has got some, that's got some weight to it, Jesus. That is a heavy band. Does it at least roll good? Mm. I'm sure if we fix the tires a little, it probably will. Yeah, it rolls decently. Uh, can't really ask for much out of that one. All right, the last car we got a Zingers, a 1958 Plymouth Fury, very Christine look-alike, with a very interesting tan roof, or it's like an orangish color. Okay, another one of those neat little trading cards. Don't mind if I do. Very pretty artwork. Definitely will add that to the collection. Alright. What do we got here? Good old fashioned Zingers car. Oh man, that is... Yeah, I got a nasty little chip there. But the rest of it is pretty good. Got the nice big old wheels. Some chrome bases. It's a nice car. I like it. Oh, oh, and I dropped it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, aside from the supercharged engine, I mean, it's basically just a jacked up Plymouth Fury. I'm tempted to paint that bumper chrome just to kind of hide those chips because it wouldn't be too hard. Um, but, oh well, it is what it is. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, that's about all we have to look at today. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I got some more videos coming up pretty soon. So uh, until next time, you all have a good one. 
soul saved. 